the recording. Um, Darian, 22 points tonight in the victory. Talk about just uh, your general thoughts in this game, and then we'll go to some questions. Um, just figure out a way to win, honestly. And I couldn't, I didn't feel like going home today, so I just had to do what I had to do, honestly. Just do whatever I had to do to get the win. If there's questions for uh, Darian, uh, let me know down in the chat. Um, it was back and forth, and you made some big shots, including the overtime, one of those first shots. So were, were you feeling it when, when 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 those goes in? You just think every one of them is going to go in? Yes, sir. Yeah, and once I start making a couple, I just feel like I can just keep on hitting after that. I mean, Coach got tremendous confidence in me, so he just keeps giving me the ball, and I'm going to put it in the hole for him. I mean, it's what I do, man. I'm a basketball player. Let's go to uh, John from Hoops HD. Go ahead with your question. Darian, can you hear me? A little bit. Can you speak up a little bit? Yes. Is this better? Yes, sir. Uh, congrats on a great game tonight. I uh, just wanted to know, looking forward, um, I think you had a couple of great all-around games against Belmont this year. So how have you been able to succeed against them? And what will it take for your team to come out ahead against them? Uh, first of all, thank you. And, um, you know, I just I just play with confidence every game. I mean, it don't matter who come on the floor. I just feel like I can play my game whenever. And honestly, all we just got to do is defend. Belmont, they shoot great from the three. They move the ball well. We can just sit down and play our game. The offense will come to us. I feel like we can come out with a victory. If there's other questions for Darian, let me know down in the chat. Darian, you all, uh, you played Murray State just a week or two ago, and it was a – uh, a little bit closer games going to overtime today. Any differences between when you played them at your place and playing them tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's conference tournament time, man. Everybody's going to come give you your best. And they came out. They were hungry. They wanted to win. They played physical with us. They had us on the ropes for a little bit. But, you know, I mean, we just had to find some leadership. I came out, led the team, and we just found a way to win. I mean, Murray State, they're real good. Tevin Brown's good. K.J. Williams good. I mean, it was just a, a good team win for us. Anybody else? Questions for Darian? All right, Darian. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll have Coach Ray Harper here in just a sec. If you know you're going to have a question for Coach Harper, uh, let me know in the chat, and uh, we will call on you. Oh, I can smell it. You did a good job. Coach, if you just want to start us off, just uh, your general thought on this uh, overtime victory. Man, I just thought it was a great game. Two teams uh, competed extremely hard and, you know, it could have gone either way. And I told our kids they showed a lot of uh, character down the stretch and, and made some tough plays. There are questions for Coach Harper. Uh, let him let me know in the chat, and I'll call on you, um, Coach. Third time playing Murray, you'd beat them twice in the regular season. Is it, it's tough. They say it's tough to beat somebody three times. It was, how is this game different from either of the first two matchups this year? I thought it was a lot more physical. Um, you know, they, they really bodied uh, Huffman inside. I thought you know uh, Darian. I mean, made it tough and face guarded and held him uh, coming off cuts. Um, but our guys stuck with it, and you know, at times we, we settled uh, for early shots. But as the game went on, I thought we, we did a much better job. Let's go to uh, Gage Johnson. Gage, go ahead with your question. How key has the pace of play been for you and an emphasis in playing Murray this year? They had 11 0 uh, fast break at halftime, and then they don't get any more in the second half. Well, it's been important to us, and I thought we did a poor job, and we talked about it and addressed it at halftime. I've, not getting back in transition and not knowing personnel. We left Tevin Brown wide open in the corner uh, one time that he bangs a three. I mean, you just get, we, we have to know personnel. And when we did that, we, we were pretty good. But uh, first half, uh, I thought second shots and transition defense was, was poor on our part. Let's go to uh, John. Go ahead with your question. Hi, Coach. Congrats on the win. Two questions. Number one, I believe you had a pair of single-digit losses to Belmont this year. So what do you think it'll take to get over the hump the third time around? And as somebody who's played some great teams this year, specifically Alabama, I was wondering if you think Belmont is one of the 68 best teams in America. 
they have been when we played them and when I've seen, watched them on tape. And, you know, they lost two conference games and both of those were without Nick Musinski. And, you know, they, they're, they're, ver they're just a well-oiled machine. They, they move the ball, they cut, they play the game together. Um, you know, they are who they are and uh, they're very good. Um, so do I think they're one of the 68 best? Absolutely. And uh, it's going to take a great effort on our part uh, tomorrow, tomorrow evening to, to beat those guys. Anybody else? Other questions uh, for Coach Harper? Okay, Gage, go ahead again. Uh, Coach, what has Adams done specifically that's made such a big difference against Murray? I uh, had a career-high 30 last time they played and had 22 tonight. He just makes plays. You know, he's uh, – we didn't run a lot of stuff for him in the first half. Uh, we, we tried to get him into some ball screen action and, and let Jalen play out of it. We didn't think they would show off of him and, and, and got some good looks out of it. But he, he as the season went on, he just lets the game come to him. He, he's a very, very cerebral player. He knows how to play. And he is ultra, ultra competitive. Um, you know, no moments too big for him. Um, and we trust him in those situations to make plays. And that's what he did down the stretch tonight. We'll go one more, Coach, and we'll let you go. Talk about Brandon Huffman, 14 rebounds to go along with his 10 points. You know, and he wasn't as good as he's been. He's got – this is a kid that, you know, a lot of people say, well, he didn't play at North Carolina, he didn't do that. But we had seen him in high school. We saw some tape of when he did play and just knew that this kid had a chance to really blossom. Um, and you have to give him a lot of credit. I mean – he stays after practice every day. As soon as we break, he and Coach Morton are staying 30, 45 minutes, getting extra work in. Um, and it's paying off. He, he's going to continue to get better. I'm excited to see what he can do next year as well. All right, Coach, thank you for joining us, and congratulations. All right, thank you.